Today, we will talk about Homo economicus. Homo economicus is a theoretical abstraction used to describe a rational human being. According to certain neoclassical economic theories, people are depicted as ideal decision makers with complete rationality, perfect access to information, and consistent, self interested goals. Homo economicus, or economic man, is the figurative human being characterized by the infinite ability to make rational decisions. Certain economic models rely on the assumption that humans are rational and will attempt to maximize their utility for both monetary and non-monetary gains. However, modern behavioral economists and those who study neuroeconomics have demonstrated that human beings are not always rational in their decision-making. The origins of Homo economicus lie in an essay about the political economy by John Stuart Mill in 1836. The essay attempted to assign characteristics to subjects under consideration for the new field of political economy. Mill's subject was a being who desires to possess wealth, and who is capable of judging the comparative efficacy of means for obtaining that end. The most important trait of Homo economicus is that they care, primarily, about maximizing profit. In addition to profit maximization, there are several other defining traits of Homo economicus. These traits include flawless rationality, unlimited cognitive capacity, perfect information, narrow self-interest, and preference consistency. The Homo economicus is a cornerstone of the neoclassical economics approach, particularly in microeconomics. Modern economics rests on three assumptions, rational decisions, maximization of utility, and a self-interested orientation. History and various economic crises have proven that the theory of Homo economicus is flawed. Behavioral economists challenge the traditional view of the Homo economicus. They try to understand how psychology affects economic decisions, arguing that humans are anything but rational. A common example provided of the Homo economicus is that of a businessperson. They seek to eke out profits from each transaction and decision, bringing the same rationality to their dealings in other spheres of life. But the theory falls short in explaining the rationale behind some seemingly irrational decisions. The idea of the Homo economicus was introduced by John Stuart Mill in the 19th century and was an extension of other ideas proposed by economists like Adam Smith. Smith also characterized humans as motivated by economic self-interest and the maximization of pleasure. Instrumental rationality can be contrasted with value rationality, which only recognizes ends that are right or legitimate in themselves. Some characterizations paint the homo economicus as a perfectly rational, but amoral, actor, and, in this way, it could be said that homo economicus acts in a way that is consistent with instrumental rationality. Behavioral economics challenges the traditional view of the homo economicus, trying to understand how psychology affects economic decisions. According to behavioral economists, humans are anything but rational, and most decision-making occurs with insufficient knowledge and processing capability. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Homo economicus is a theoretical abstraction that some economists use to describe a rational human being. 2. In certain neoclassical economic theories, people are portrayed this way, as ideal decision-makers with complete rationality, perfect access to information, and consistent, self-interested goals. 3. Modern behavioral economists and those who study neuroeconomics, however, have demonstrated that human beings are, in fact, not rational in their decision-making. 4. The origins of the Homo economicus lie in an essay about the political economy by the English civil servant, philosopher, and political economist John Stuart Mill in 1836. 5. Rationality should dictate that the rational business person should use profits from their business to live a fairly frugal existence but that is not always the case. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.